This is Jose with Miami Vintage Guitars, and today we have for you a Gibson L5 from 1933. Now something interesting about this guitar is that in 1933, this was the last year that Gibson started, made a model with a 16 inch body. Uh, the previous owner was uh, Frank M. Scully. Uh, he actually had his name engraved in the, uh, in the truss rod over here, which is pretty interesting. And it's also done in a similar font that was uh, used on, on other Gibsons. So it was most likely done within the Gibson factory. Uh, let's see, uh, it, has, it has a real beautiful sunburst finish, back and sides. Uh, you know, it's been aged beautifully. Somebody, somebody obviously loved this thing and played it quite often. A little bit of wear on the neck and stuff. Uh, it has a maple neck with a uh, walnut strip in the center, which is pretty cool. An ebony fretboard with uh, with these large block pearl inlays. Uh, this is really sweet, actually. And if I'm correct, I think the uh, the bridge might also be uh, ebony as well. This is a beautiful guitar. This guitar also has gold-plated trapeze and tuners. Yeah, everything in this looks really, really cool. This is a really cool guitar. So let's hear the acoustics of this guitar and just see, hear how it sounds. This is this is really neat. Incredible sound. The action on it is actually very low and very good. There's no buzz frets anywhere on this guitar, maybe a small ding here and there. Not too bad, nothing that affects the playability, it actually plays really nicely. Uh, a lot better than what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. 